Well, uh, we have another caller online, Mr. Sharath from Hyderabad. Mr. Sharath, uh, can you hear me? Uh, hello. Hello. This is Shantaram from uh, uh, sorry. Hyderabad. Yes, Mr. Shantaram. Uh, see, my question to you is, uh, first of all, it's really a nice show, you, uh, the school scan. Uh, Thank my you. First, my first question is, many parents are turning to online education technology. You understand that, right? Yeah. Uh, is it safe? Is it safe of uh, uh, online education? Uh, it's a very nice question, I can say, Mr. Uh, Shantaram. The thing with online education is, is it, uh, people who can afford it, is, it is very easily access accessible. You can find almost anything and everything online. But as well, institutions should also take care of their data to, not, like, to avoid getting hacked by other resources. Yet a little governance in place, they can always be... It can always be an alternate solution even in the long run for educational systems to uh, to choose online education. There is, it's absolutely true and also safe. And uh, one more thing, ma'am, one more thing. Hello? Yeah. Yes. See, uh, in the lockdown, there are a few schools who have gone for this optional for online classes. So are you saying there are also the schools open? Not now, in, in the lockdown. In the okay. lockdown, they opted for, few of the schools, they opted for online classes. Yeah. So, they are also asking the fees. Is it right to ask fees from the, uh, for those classes? They have to understand. These private schools or whatever the schools they are. Uh, so, yeah. uh, I'll uh, divide your uh, question into two parts. The first part is the fee structure what you are asking about as uh, is it right for schools to collect fees from parents is that what you asked? Exactly. Yeah. So uh, lockdown started around mid-March, mid-March schools have shut after mid-March. So when you are talking about mid-March schools have already finished three-fourths of their portion. The academic year portion has been completed by schools and probably they must be left with a very few classes. So by then, I, um, educational institutions must have already collected the fees from students without even expecting this uh, form of lockdown, without expecting the lockdown. So you really cannot say if uh, what they might be expecting after one school reopen because this is a uh, what if it's going to open now it's going to be a fresh start fresh start of a new academic year. So the fee structure there might be reduced with all the government norms in place. They might be educational institutions would have to follow the norms that have been set by the government and they probably would reduce the fee structure once they open which I'm talking is after July. Before July, pre-quarantine, uh, pre-lockdown if you're uh, saying, it's almost an end of academic year and I, I'm, I'm sure all the uh, parents must have already paid the fee. And my, my next question is, yeah. uh, does the technology have a strong educational foundation and uh, can encourage creativity in children? See, uh, technology, we cannot say technology is a strong point, but technology does play a major role. If a student has to do a project or if a student has to do any sort of online work which is given by their educational institutions, they browse. All the students in this generation, they browse. Technology helps them a lot in finding out so many different things in a wider prospect. Not just from one opinion, they can collect, they can collect different opinions and collectively make a project. So, I, yes, technology does play a very crucial role. And technology using it till the minimum line is obviously, um, I'm sure it is acceptable for parents to letting their children use the technology up to a certain point, yes, it is very useful for education. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you so much.